morning guys is my client here yet by the way no not yet okay good because i still haven't finished my coffee yet and i cannot go without it hey guys hey aubrey oh my god it's like so busy in the salon today is it really yeah almost every station is full that's crazy oh sarah your first client just got here okay tell them i'll be out in a sec i just have to set up my station real quick Millie, a uh, quick question. Do you know who's set up in the first station over there? Oh, that's Aubrey's. Aubrey? Yeah, she set up there about five minutes ago. I cannot believe Aubrey is in my station. I have literally been working here for five years and everybody knows that I always use the first station. She's only been here for three months and she thinks she can do whatever she wants. Uh, hi. Hey. So, I noticed you have your stuff in the first station. Yeah, it was available, so I took it. Except it's not available. How is it not available? Because it's my station. Since when? Since always. You can literally ask anybody here and they will all tell you that I work at that station every day. So what station am I supposed to use? I don't know, the back one? Honestly, I don't care. Just get out of mine. The back station is the worst. The lighting is so bad. Besides, it's not like the front station has your name on it or anything. It doesn't matter that it doesn't have my name on it. Everybody in this salon knows I work there. So you're gonna have to move. Are you being serious right now? Yeah, I am. Sarah is literally being so unprofessional right now. She acts like she owns the salon, which she doesn't. And I work at the salon too, so if there's a station available, I'm gonna use it. If I wanna use that station, I'm gonna use that station. You literally don't even need it. You literally do like two clients a day because you keep frying everybody's hair off so nobody wants to go back to you. Meanwhile, I actually have a full book, so I need to use it. Then use the station in the back. Okay guys, calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. She's all up in my business over some station. Who does that? Someone who has been working her ass off for five years and has seniority. That's who. I don't give a about seniority. That's because you are a who doesn't respect anybody in this salon. I'm a Yes, you've literally only been here for three months and you've already pissed off half of the staff. You should be grateful you even got the opportunity to work here because the rest of us all had to work our asses off to get to where we are. And I haven't worked my ass off. If you did, you'd actually have a full book like the rest of us. I cannot believe the disrespect Aubrey is showing right now. You can't just come into an established business and change things because you feel like it. If she wants to be taken seriously, she needs to put in the work like the rest of us did when we started. I do not want to sit here and listen to somebody berate me when I have done nothing wrong. Literally nothing. Then leave. Leave. There's the door. I cannot. I literally just cannot. Call me when you want to be a professional and act like an adult. I already am a professional, sweetie. That's why my books are full. I literally feel so disrespected right now. I cannot. This business is cutthroat and some people just aren't cut out for it. Aubrey may think she's ready, but her behavior today says otherwise. Okay, I'm all ready for my client. 